Good day everyone. Welcome to another Let's Review in English. Number 1. How many morphemes are there in incoming? A1, B2, C3, D4. The answer is letter C, 3. When we say morphine, this is a meaningful unit of a language. Remember, it is different from a word because sometimes morphemes can't stand alone. However, it may be a word. So that morphemes in the word incoming are in come in Which is the correct and preferred sentence? A. I gave my dog a bath who was hot. B. I gave my dog a bath which was hot. C. I offered my dog a bath that was hot. D. A bath was offered to my dog that was hot. The answer is letter B. Which is a relative pronoun used for a thing or an animal. But you may ask, how about letter C? That is also used for a person or a thing. Yes, however, the word offered there is not appropriate to be used for a dog. So, the correct answer is letter B. Choose the closest meaning of the root word philanthropist. A. Physician B. Artist C. Benefactor D. Philosopher The answer is letter C. Benefactor When you say philanthropist, he or she thinks or promotes the welfare of others, just like a benefactor, which is the appropriate homonym for pale in the following sentence. She looks so pale, so I gave her a blank of water. A. Pale B. Pale C. Fail D. Fail Remember, homonyms have the same spelling or pronunciation, but they differ in meaning. What's the answer? Letter A. Pale. Number 5. Select the sentence with a modifier for the subject girl. A. The girl wearing a red dress was discovered by a producer. B. The girl was discovered by a producer wearing a red dress. C. The girl is wearing a dress by a producer. D. The girl discovered a producer wearing a dress. The answer? is letter A. What's the rule? The modifier should be as much as possible near to the noun or pronoun it modifies. So wearing a red dress there is the modifier. Number six, choose the best ending for the following sentence. Some students have Wi-Fi connectivity at home. So A. They should join online classes. B. They attend online classes if they want. C. They must use it for online gaming all night. D. They will have the highest grade. The best answer is Letter A. They should join online classes. Number 7. Which is punctuated correctly? I'll give you some time to read the options. So the answer is letter B. One of the uses of a comma is to separate items in a series. So the comma should be used in between. What are the items there? Mango, 2 kilos of okra, and half kilo of eggplant. In the machine of language teaching and learning, who is the most important cog? The answer is letter B, the language teacher. A cog is a tooth on the rim of a wheel, so the language teacher is considered the most important cog in the machine of language teaching and learning. Number 9. Good instructional materials make satisfactory results if the teacher is blank. A. Very creative in the presentation of the techniques. B. Using them in his lessons even if they are not fully mastered. C. Allowing students to freely manipulate them while the discussion is going on. D. Knowledgeable of principles and developments of the materials. The answer is letter D. Why? 
Even if you are creative, if you don't have knowledge on how to apply or the principles behind the developed materials, so it would be useless. So you have to know the principles and developments of the materials. Number 10. You are an English teacher and Lucy is a new language learner. How can you use linguistics to help her learn English successfully? A. By reshaping my view, attitude, and concept of language and language learning. B. I will show my perfection of articulation and oral proficiency. C. I will use my knowledge and skill in grammatical analysis. D. I will use the best material in English teaching. The answer is letter A. So, a teacher needs to be very flexible to situations. Number 11. Choose the list of authors if you want to know about genre analysis, microdiscourse analysis, text analysis, and macrodiscourse patterns, which are the concept developments in linguistics. Please go over the names. The answer is letter B. What concept developments in linguistics do these names belong to? Please take time to read. The answer is letter A. Number 13. Who among the following is not a researcher or a writer about schema? A. Jean Piaget, B. F. C. Bartlett, C. David Rommelhart, D. John Austin. So when we say schema, this is an abstract concept which is hierarchically categorized. For example, if I say store, you'll probably create a mental image of a small place where you can buy some things that you need. When I change the name to a convenience store, probably your scheme would shift to an image with a range of items which you could buy. So let's proceed to number 14. Schema theory is a branch of cognitive science that describes how the mind acquires, categorizes, and organizes knowledge, which is not a component of the schema theory. A. Schemas guide on how we interpret new information. B. Schemas are dynamic. C. There can be real learning without meaning. D. Schemas allow writers and speakers to make assumptions about what the reader or listener already knows. The answer is letter C. Of course, it's not part of schema theory because how can you ever learn without meaning? And the last item, metacognition means thinking about thinking. Which of these is not an essence of Metacognition A. Reflecting B. Monitoring C. Self-questioning D. Self-recognition The answer is letter D. Self-recognition Metacognition is never about self-recognition. So that's it for today. You can comment down below how many did you get. And for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button for my updates. Thank you very much and keep safe.